Welcome to your first day as a trainee driver here on the East Coast Main Line. First opened by the Great Northern Railway in 1850, Peterborough is a vital station on the East Coast Main Line network. This station acts as a major interchange and serves the North and South Main Line traffic, as well as long distance and local East and West services. There's a missing route map over there. Fix that while you're here. There are more tasks to find, so be sure to apply the route maps. Refill water bottles, restock newspaper stands, and restock the first aid points. Head of driver and passenger experience, Emily Turner, would like to speak to you. Follow the markers to board the train before departure. Take a seat anywhere you like. Throughout the years, Peterborough Station has had several different names. Originally just called Peterborough, it was later renamed Peterborough Priestgate, then to Peterborough Cowgate in 1902, before reverting back to simply Peterborough in 1911. During the 1970s, major alterations occurred to this station under British Rail. The track layout was remodelled to provide high-speed through lines and two new platforms. The original bay and through platforms were removed and a brand new platform were built to the west of the fast lines. In 2014, Network Rail spent around £2.5 million on the station and its surroundings with the intention of increasing passenger capacity on trains and ease the movement of freight through the station. This upgrade has also seen changes to the booking office and station concourse building, along with the introduction of ticket gates. A unique feature of this route is the flashing green signal aspect, used to trial 140 miles per hour running. Although today this speed is usually not permitted, the signal aspect remains. 
This train is a BR Class 801 electric multiple unit in LNER livery. They were first introduced in 2019 and were built to operate the high speed express services across the network. As a trainee driver on this route, you will drive this train as well as the BR Class 66 freight locomotive. Accelerate and feel the high-speed thrill of British intercity travel in train sim world. Express services await on the iconic East Coast mainline. So hurry through the English countryside between Peterborough and Doncaster in sleek and flashy traction. In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive a BR Class 801 electric multiple unit. During this brief introduction, you will be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you are ready, climb aboard. Take a seat in the driver's position, so that you can prepare the train for service. For this introduction, You'll be completing a full loop of the circuit and performing passenger operations when you reach the next stop. Prepare the train for departure. To unlock the control desk, you'll need to insert and set the master key. The reverser is used to determine the direction of travel. Set the headlights as this will let others around you know that this train is operational. PTWS and AWS operational. To begin loading passengers, you'll need to open the passenger doors. It's time to depart. Close the passenger doors. This train features a combined power and brake handle. So to get the train moving, move the handle into the power range.
Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force by moving the power handle into the braking range. First introduced in September 2019, the Class 801s were built as a replacement for the aging Intercity 125 and 225 sets, which were the primary trains used on the East Coast Main Line at the time. The Class 801 fleet were designed as purely electric multiple units. However, they feature a single 560 kilowatt diesel engine fitted to one of the coaches for emergency use. This nine car variant of the class has a maximum power output of over 4,500 kilowatts and has a maximum operating speed of 124 miles per hour. You're now approaching the station, so prepare to slow down the train. Use the power handle to apply some braking force to bring the train to a gentle stop in the indicated position. Now that the train has stopped, you can open the passenger doors. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. In this training module, you'll be taken through the operation of this Class 66 locomotive. During this brief introduction, you'll be covering the critical driving controls and freight operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started.
you need to insert the reverser first, and then you can move it forwards to set the direction of travel. Set the headlights to let others around us know this train is operational. The direct brake has three positions. Apply, hold and release. They directly affect the brake cylinder pressure, shown on the left-hand side of the desk or on your hood under the BC entry. While in the apply state, the brake cylinder or BC gauge will fill meaning an increasing amount of braking force is being applied. Move the handle to the hold position to maintain the same level of braking force and back to the release position to reduce or release the braking force. The direct brake is used to apply the brakes only on your locomotive and is faster to apply and release than the main brakes. If you're only running as a light locomotive as you are now, it's usually quicker to just use these brakes. The brakes on this locomotive require us to hold the brake handle in the release position. You can monitor the state of the brakes using the larger brake pipe control gauge in the center. Keep the brake control in release until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading five bar. This will release the brakes fully. Now that the brake pipe control is at 5 bar, the brakes will fully release. Watch the brake cylinder or BC gauge to see it gradually reduce to zero, which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train. As you apply power, notice the amp bar rising. This is the amount of power being fed into the traction motors. Try to keep this out of the red as it means you're overpowering the motors and could damage them. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Built in London, Ontario, Canada by EMD, the British Rail Class 66 is a six-axle diesel electric locomotive used primarily for freight operations in the UK. Introduced in 1998, the initial order of 250 locomotives was said to be the biggest single order of a locomotive since the era of steam trains. More than 500 Class 66 locomotives were built, with the final one being delivered in 2016. The Class 66 has earned the nickname Shed because of its shed-like pitched roof.
The freight wagons are behind you. Change direction with the reverser. Then change the indicated junction, either by walking over to it or using the map. The junction is correctly aligned and you can now couple up to the freight. Approach slowly and stop, just before the buffers. Don't forget to release the direct brake before you apply power. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Connect the formation using the external camera. Now couple the locomotive to the freight wagons. Return to the first person camera. Nice work. Change direction with the reverser and move the train forward into the indicated siding. You can couple and uncouple from either an external camera or on foot. Uncouple from the wagons on foot this time. That concludes this training module.